you have to do your shopping lists at midnight? No, it's not a shopping list. It's my diary. Oh. Just getting it up to date. Make sure you make a note of my birthday, then. Oh, it's not that sort of a diary, no. It's just my thoughts and feelings, um, not just humdrum events. <laughs> oh, no, darling, no. I mean, I might very well write about your birthday, um, what I'd given you, how you'd reacted, and so on, but only in retrospect. Oh, sounds very impressive. <laughs> yes, it is. I'm hoping to have it all bound one day for posterity. <laughs> posterity? Yeah, something to hand down to our children and our children's children. How long have you been keeping it? Three weeks. <laughs> Got some way to go, then. Oh, no, I've filled one of these already. What on earth do you find to say? Plenty. I lead a very full life. Oh. Give us a look at today's, then. No, I'm not up to today. I'm only up to last Saturday. Well, go on, then. Oh, no, you're not interested. Yes, yes, I am. Honestly, go on, yeah. Oh, all right. <clears throat> Saturday. Mm -hmm. A bright, sunny day with mm -hmm. the first of the roses out. Mother's cold is better, and after I'd been shopping, she joined me for a coffee, and we discussed my father. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to do it. No, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No. Emma phoned from the Lake District. Mm -hmm. She and Peter have found a flat in Cockermouth. Still no sign of a wedding going. Shall I go on? No, don't. I think I've got the gist of it. If you don't mind my saying so, I think it sounds a bit bland. William came home from golf in a foul temper. What? He'd lost, as usual. Either he must give it up or take lessons. I was not in a foul temper. Sure. All right, show me the previous weekend. Then. All right, all right. Saturday. No. The first day of unbroken sunshine this year. The almond blossom is fully out. What joy. William returned and threw his clubs across the kitchen floor. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Now, what the hell is all this? Just the truth. It's fiction. Darling, when I... you come home from golf, you're a monster. I did not throw my clubs across the kitchen. Well, why were you on your hands and knees picking them up? They'd fallen. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to appear to posterity as a manic golfer. <laughs> you serious? William, you have a temper that verges on the dangerous. Me? Yes, you. Oh, well, what about you? Well, well, I, I suppose I occasionally get a bit uptight. Oh, yeah, but do you put it down for posterity? If it's relevant. Be honest, you cheat. I don't. All right. Show me an entry that puts you in the wrong. Look, just get on with your book. You can't, can you? If I was wrong, I would say so. All right. Show me last Sunday's. Why? When you ran out of petrol and had to walk home. Look, who's going to be interested in that a hundred years from you now? You said you wanted a divorce. That's interesting enough. Well, I wasn't serious. <laughs> oh, maybe, but you lost your temper. Yes, well, I'd had to walk a mile to the garage and a mile back with a heavy petrol can because you'd forgotten to fill the car. Well, it's your car. Why didn't you fill it? Oh, it's not my job. Well, why should it be mine? Well, any caring husband would make sure his wife's car was in full working order. I am an accountant, not a mechanic. Yeah, that's true. You can't even work the washing machine. <laughs> why did you bung that down? Too. Oh, don't be silly. No, let our future generations know what an idiot you've married. <laughs> Tuesday the 12th. William throws another tantrum. <laughs> and so to bed. <laughs> Esther? Oh, hi, Sonia. How are you? Worn out. What with? Like a sleeve. Really? Why? Last night, all the drama. Don't tell me you didn't hear it. No. The Birches opposite. The Birches? Oh, you must know the Birches. They've been here about three years. Is she a small woman with dyed blonde hair, wears Gucci gear and drives an MG? Yes. I don't think I've ever noticed her. <laughs> well, according to Mrs. Status, they were shouting and banging around. She thought there was going to be a murder. However, he drove off about three o'clock with another woman. No. Yeah. Come and have a cup of coffee. <laughs> it's amazing what goes on in your own road, and you never know it. So <laughs> you seem to. Well, I was wide awake when he drove off with this other woman. How do you know it was another woman? Did you see it? No. But I was talking to Mrs. Maitland four doors up. And she said it definitely wasn't Mrs. Birch, and she's a very good idea who it was. Oh, Sonia, dear, you ought to be careful, you know. This is just gossip. Oh. Please yourself. Biscuits? Just a few. Mm. <laughs> Mrs. Maitland said he went off with Mrs. Roberts. No, with Anna? Yeah. Didn't I always say? You did. Mm. She cornered William at a party once, you oh, know. Poor man. Mm. He found it very embarrassing. Mm, I'm sure he did. Hmm. John says he's sorry for Anna being a divorcee, but I'll lay odds it was all her fault. I'm sure it was. I must admit, I, 
I don't see what it is men see in her. No, she's certainly no beauty. No. It's an interesting face. Interesting. Yes, but as you say, not beautiful. Bone structure. Mm. Boyish figure. Mm. All right for modelling, but that's about all. Yes, I mean, when you sum it up, really, all she's got is the Malaysian accent. <laughs> no, but it sounds so naive and helpless. <laughs> oh, come in. Oh. Good morning, Esther. Jen, how are you? Absolutely first class. Now's my little girl. Oh, fine, <laughs> fine. You remember Sonia, don't you? Yes, yes, of course, of course. I never forget a pretty face. Oh, you're very good for my morale, Mr. Penrose. <laughs> Send for me any time. Yes, all right, Dad, all hey, right. don't stop him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. I dropped round to see Nancy, but she's out. Yeah, well, she probably knew you were coming. <laughs> oh, she's certainly playing hard to get. That faint heart never won fair woman. I can't think why she doesn't snap you up. Right, well, she's got the chance. Yeah. You might nip off with another woman. Wait a minute. That's given me an idea. A bit late in the day at my age. No, Dad. If Mum thought that you were getting involved elsewhere, she might look at you with different eyes. <laughs> and still a little jealousy. Yeah, yeah. Look, we'll invite Mum over to dinner one night and uh, you happen to pop in and start talking about your latest love. Not a bad idea. Oh, or better still, bring her with you. I haven't got anyone. <laughs> what about trying an escort agency? Sonia. Well, you wouldn't have to be under any obligation. <laughs> Might be fun, you know. No, Dad, that wouldn't fool Mum for a second. Don't you know any respectable unmarried women? Well, there's the barmaid at the club. She's divorced. How old's she? 21. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, in her middle 50s, which is great fun. And she's got the biggest pair of earrings. <laughs> <laughs> this is not quite right to me. <laughs> Would you give the other oh. cup? <clears throat> God, hello, my little poppet. <laughs> Don't you puppet me. Uh, would you like a coffee, Mother? No, thank you, dear. I'll come back later when it's not quite so crowded. Uh, no, 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 don't worry. Dad's just leaving, aren't you? What? Uh, he just popped in to tell us his news, isn't it? Exciting, Sonia. Oh, wonderful, yes! She sounds just the right type for you, Mr. Ben. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, thank you, thank you. Thank <laughs> well, if you. you're going to take her to lunch, I think you'd better pop along now. Mm, you better not keep her waiting. No, you're absolutely right. Oh, forgive me, Nancy. I'd love to stop and tell you my news, but we'll do it some other time. I can't imagine you'd have any news I wanted to hear about. <laughs> it, it might be painful to you, but I'd like to think that one day we shall have your blessing. Well, goodbye. <laughs> yes, goodbye, Dad. Uh, you sure you wouldn't like a coffee, Mother? Positive. I'll have a sherry. <laughs> and I'll join you. <laughs> I'm going to burn a hole in that book. What? You're writing like someone possessed. Well, I've got to get it all down before I forget it. It's all happening in this road. You're not going to start dragging our neighbours' lives in as well, are oh, you? Oh, yes. It's too good to miss. <laughs> Look, we didn't actually hear this drama last night. No, but Sonia did. That's good enough for me. Yeah, but is it true? Oh, yes. I saw Mrs Maitland at the shops. She gave me all the details. Apparently, uh, Mrs Birch is suing for a divorce. No. And Anna Roberts has put her house on the market. Oh. Hmm? I should be sorry that Anna's gone. Oh, did you like her? Well, she added a spot of oriental glamour to the road. As a matter of fact, I changed one of her wheels once. You said you weren't a mechanic. Well, any fool can change a wheel. See, you go chasing around after Anna Roberts and you let me run out of petrol. I wasn't chasing around. <laughs> I happened to be passing. Did she um, ask you into the house? Well, just to wash my hands. Why? They were filthy. <laughs> oh, well, perhaps you harboured secret thoughts about her. If it's that important, why did you put it in the bloody diary? <laughs> I mean, why did you say I, I was having an affair with her? Improve my image. <laughs> Make a change from the nutter who's always throwing golf clubs at you. <laughs> No, yeah. I was joking, darling. No, no, darling, darling. You give me a wonderful idea. Have I? Yeah. I could write a series.
stories in a magazine entitled The Diary of a Suburban Housewife. Who's married to the Incredible Hulk. No, seriously. Oh. Um, no, I'd base it more or less on this road. Ooh, mm. I'll make it really steamy. I hope you know a good lawyer. Oh, no, I'd change all the names, including my own. How about Hester Peeps? What? <laughs> Peeps Diaries. Oh, Hester Peeps. No, oh, no, yes, no. it's a good title, that. Anyway, I'd lift the lid off suburbia. You know, we've got these neighbours who are in and out of each other's houses like ferrets. <laughs> Not to mention a father who's a 70-year-old stud, a mother superior who lives at the end of the garden, and a pregnant daughter who's living in sin with a young man who's soliciting in Cockermouth. <laughs> Couldn't use any of that. Why, well, it's true. I know, but who'd believe it? <laughs> We're extremely sorry to lose your account, but if at some future date... Yes? Uh, Mr Guy Penrose to see you, sir. Oh, show him in, will you? Uh, we'll finish this later, Miss Denham. Yes. Oh, will you uh, just file that for me, yes, please? Yes, very well. <clears throat> Good morning, old boy. Guy, nice to see you. Thank you, Miss Denham. It's not Miss Denham, is it? Yes. Good morning, Mr. Penrose. Good morning. I hardly recognised you. Oh, really? You look younger every time <laughs> I see you. Thank you. <laughs> I could say the same about you. I wish you would. <laughs> that will be all, Miss Denham. Miss Denham, that will be all. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I won't keep you long. Oh, right? that's all right. We're horribly quiet. Do sit down. Oh, thanks. You're not looking for a job, I hope. Ah, uh, no, no. A uh, partner, actually. Partner? Yeah, well, well, Hester's told you about our little ploy with Nancy. Yes. Apparently it's uh, aroused quite a bit of curiosity. Well, the fact is, I've, I've drawn a blank trying to come up with a lady friend. Well, it's not like you. Well, I, I mean a suitable one. Uh, I've asked for absolutely stunning women, but no joy. They said no? No, they said yes. It was her husband said no. Oh, I see. Well, I mean, I would have thought it was harmless enough borrowing a fiancé for the evening. Perhaps they thought you wanted them for the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, uh, the point is, I was wondering whether your secretary would oblige. <laughs> Miss Denham? Yes. Oh, no, I don't think so. She's extremely straight-laced. Oh, that's no problem. Just ask her to dinner tomorrow night and I'll do the rest. Oh, hang on now. It's not quite ethical. Why? Well, apart from being a very loyal friend, she's also a very devoted secretary. I don't want you leading her astray. Oh, no. We're only going to have dinner, that's all. Well, as long as she doesn't know there's an ulterior motive. Oh, of course not. Miss Denham, would you come in a moment, please? Yes, Mr. Fields. Uh, make it sound casual. Casual. Leave it to me. <laughs> ah, Miss Denham, I was wondering if you'd care to join us for dinner tomorrow night. Oh, well, I, I'm not sure. Is it some special occasion? It would be if you were there. No, it's strictly <laughs> informal. Just the family and Mr. Penrose. Well, it's very kind of you. I should have to go home first and change. Where do you live, Miss Denham? Uh, Martin Park. I'll pick you up in a taxi cab. Oh, there's no need. I can get a bus. Oh, nonsense, nonsense. I'll be there to collect you at 7.30. I should have to check it's all right with Mother. <laughs> if I meet her, I'll put her mind at rest. I think I will get a bus. <laughs> I can't hold this ridiculous grin any longer. Oh, relax. I've got it now. Oh, thank heaven for that. Just adding the highlights to your hair. Oh, if I'd known how many sittings it was going to take, I'd never have done it. I think you'd be quite pleased. I've made you look quite young. I was young when you started it. <laughs> you know, if I get this accepted at the exhibition, I think I'll do another one of Dad. Don't you hang it near mine. <laughs> He's a very handsome man. So was Bluebeard. <laughs> Oh, I, I forgot to tell you, he's coming to dinner tonight. I suppose there's no chance of you popping along as well. No, uh, I'm, um, I'm, I'm playing bridge. Really? I didn't know you played bridge. Uh, yes, I've just started. Yes, who with? Uh, the, um, Sandersons. Oh, really? Oh, well, some other time. They'll be sorry to have missed you, then. They? Oh, didn't I tell you? No, you didn't. Oh, he's bringing his lady friend. Oh, 
I'm surprised you invited me as well. Well, I thought you'd want to see him safely off your hands. Oh, I really couldn't care less. What time are they coming? <laughs> About eight, but uh, you'll be gone by then. Yes, I imagine I will, but uh, if I get back in time, I might just uh, pop in for a coffee. Yes, do, and I uh, hope you enjoy your evening with the uh, Richardsons. The what? Oh, yes, yes, I'm sure I will. <laughs> 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 well, that was delicious dinner, Mrs. Beale. Oh, thank you. Uh, Dad, why don't you take Miss Denham into the drawing room? With oh. pleasure. Thank you. Come along, Marigold. Thank you. <laughs> do, um, do help yourself to brandy. Thanks, old boy. <laughs> Nancy's cutting in a bit fine, isn't she? If she doesn't turn up soon, we're going to look a bit silly. She'll be here. She's been peering through her curtains all evening. Are you doing this for Guy's benefit or another juicy entry in your diary? And with any luck, both. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not too late, I hope. No, did you, uh, did you have a nice evening playing bridge? What? Uh, with the, uh, Robertsons? Oh, yes, yes, sir. <laughs> You're looking very elegant tonight, Nancy. Oh, I can't think why. I just threw on any old thing. <laughs> <laughs> little number before. Is it new? Oh, no. I've had it for ages. Perhaps I just haven't worn it before. No, no, I don't think you have. You've still got the price ticket on the back. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shall I cut it out for you? Oh, thank you, dear. <laughs> there we are. Oh, your hair looks nice. Oh, I just ran a comb through it. <laughs> are the lovebirds still here? I wouldn't exactly call them lovebirds. Oh, I'm past caring whether a guy makes a fool of himself with some brazen gold digger. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Denham is a middle-aged spinster who lives with her mother. Oh, he'll be spoilt for choice then, won't he? <laughs> she's over 80. That wouldn't stop him. <laughs> now, look, she's a very good secretary, so you be nice to her. Oh, I shall be the essence of tact. Hmm. What's the poor dear's name? Marigold. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you won't have one? Oh, quite sure, thank you. Now, uh, where was I? Uh, you were telling me how you met your second wife. Ah, yes, Isabel. Here we are. Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh, um, Nancy's just dropped in. Good heavens. <laughs> oh, forgive me. I didn't know it was a party. <laughs> Nancy, this is a surprise. May I introduce you to Miss Denham? How do you do, Miss Denham? Oh, good evening, Mrs. Penrose. I hope I'm not uh, interrupting anything. <laughs> not at all. I was just, I was just telling Marigold about my misspent youth. That must have been rather boring for her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Penrose could never be boring. How little you know him, my dear. <laughs> Very interesting. There you are, Nancy. Marigold finds me interesting. Uh, your coffee, Miss Denham. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, I nearly forgot. Uh, some trocky mints, uh, uh, just a few. Oh, thank you. Oh, how sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. One each. <laughs> trocky mints, my favourite. Oh, I think I must warn you, Miss Denham. He's also an incorrigible flirt. Oh, yes, I've certainly noticed that. Doesn't it worry you? Oh, not in someone like Mr. Penrose. He can't help it. <laughs> Marigold <laughs> understands me, Nancy. Oh, you're an old rogue. Oh, yes, but a repentant one. I, I lost my greatest love 40 years ago, and I've been wandering the earth ever since, trying to recapture it. Oh, fiddlesticks. <laughs> if I'm ever lucky enough to find happiness again, Marigold, I shall hold on to it. Yes, I'm sure you will, Mr. Penrose. Thank you, my dear. And now, what about ordering a cab? Oh, you're not going so soon. I promised Mrs. Denham I would return her charming daughter in good time. Well, I tell you what, uh, William can run you home. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. <laughs> I'll get the car. I, I don't want to drag you out, Mr. Fields. Oh, no trouble at all. <laughs> Come on, Miss Denham. I'll get your coat. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh. Good night, Mrs. Penrose. It's been so nice meeting you. Goodbye, my dear. I hope you know what you're doing. Why, Mr. Fields is a very good driver. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean with Guy. Oh, I think I can control him all right. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you can. <laughs> Here we are. Thank you. 
Well, what do you think, Fair Nancy? Does it matter what I think? Well, yes, I value your opinion. It's a lamb going to the slaughter. <laughs> oh, I think I'll survive it all right. No. <laughs> Not you, her. Oh. She's too good for you. Oh, and so are you, my dear. Well, if you're right there. <laughs> if I can't have you, Nancy, then I'll settle for second best. How far have you committed yourself? Well, you no, know. pull back before it's too late. What? Uh, she'll get over it. Well, when we get into that car together, she'll twist me around her little finger. Then don't go with her. No. By heavens, I won't. Um, uh, are you coming? No, no, no. Make my excuses to Marigold, to Miss Denham, and tell her I'll ring her sometime. Oh, right. Fine. Uh, I'll just close the door in case she makes a scene. <laughs> I'm sure this is the best way. Yes. There, there. <laughs> well, you're late. It's after midnight. There was a diversion. I got lost. You? 3294? Hi, Mark. It's me. Oh, hi, Emma. How are you? Hi. And how's the baby? Good. But Peter's been rumbling away for weeks about an ultimatum. And tonight he finally delivered it. Oh, Peter's finally delivered it. The baby? No, an ultimatum. Oh. Um, sorry, darling, what did he say? He says he's determined to marry me. And if I won't agree, he's going to leave me. I mean, actually walk out. If he says things like that, Ma, how do I know he loves me? Look, darling, darling, he's only saying it because he loves you. Oh, Ma, how can I be sure? Um, look. Hang on a minute, I'll, I'll get your father. Darling, she's really mixed up about the marriage. Just try and coax her into seeing a man's point of view. Emma? Oh, hi, Dad. I expect mother's explained the problem. Look, you see, what I feel is this... <laughs> Just shut up and marry him. <laughs> oh. Oh, fine. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <clears throat> is that it? I think so. I think you should have said that years ago. Yes. Mm. Well, I think you better get the maps out and find the route to Cockermouth. Not tonight, thank you. Well, it's only three miles to Merton Park. That's taking you two hours. Look, I told you there was a diversion. Via Epping? If you must know, I ran out of bloody petrol. <laughs> See our diary! Don't you dare! <laughs>